Church of God World Missions has long reflected the power of Pentecost, emphasizing church planting, training workers, and caring for the needy. The motto of Until All Have Heard signifies its mission. In 1909, a group of seekers at the Pleasant Grove Campground were baptized with the Holy Spirit as they believed the message A.J. Tomlinson proclaimed on the power of Pentecost. R.M. Evans and Edmund Barr were two in attendance who received the message, realized its truth and power, and responded in obedience. With hearts ablaze, they heard the call of God to preach the message, one to his homeland and the other to people whose faces he had never seen. Thus was the birth of Church of God World Missions. As in the days following the ascension of Jesus, they were filled with the Spirit, then thrust into nations. When the church gathers in Nassau in the Bahamas on January 5 through 7 of 2010, it will be the key event of a two-year celebration of 100 years of Great Commission obedience by the Church of God. Our first missionaries made the journey from Florida to the Bahamas, arriving in Nassau on January 4th of 1909. And without knowing it at the time, they launched a movement that has taken the church into 170 countries, literally around the world. The Nassau meeting will be a celebration of victories and the acknowledgement of seven million men and women, boys and girls, who make up this worldwide movement. But it will be more. It will be a declaration to the world that the Church of God is still strongly dedicated to continuing its commitment to Christ's Great Commission, where He said, Go into all the world and make disciples. It will also mean that we're ready to launch into the second century as International Executive Committee Liaison to World Missions. It is my pleasure to invite you to come with church and mission leaders to this once in a hundred years celebration. In two days and two nights of special presentations, you will be challenged by the vision of what we believe God is going to do as we continue our Great Commission obedience. Plus, you'll have the privilege, if you so desire, to add a day or two before or after the meeting to enjoy the destinations of the beautiful Bahama Islands. A hundred years ago, R.M. Evans made the historic journey that began our far-flung missionary enterprise. Retrace his steps in January and celebrate what God has done and what He's going to do.